We can get more on this now. See, Jim White's joined us in the studio. Uh, Talk just, sport, breaking news. We'll just turn your microphone on, shall we? Thank you. Isn't How are you, Jim? Foul old mood today, he is. Well, I'm very well. Thank you, Andy. How are you? Good, good to That's see you. That's the question, really. Um, I'm afraid you're stuck with me, by Oh, way. it's only clicking. <laughs> yeah, Jim White's did you, just left here. Did you see Ian Dante yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, because yeah. I walked in, I just heard two different Jim Whites. <laughs> so it must be you and And, and also, Jim was on with you guys at the time. Yeah. So there were three Jim Whites wow, so Jim White across off. the office. Yeah, okay. it was quite scary. Well, you're our favourite. That's why we've got you in here. Thank you. Uh, we don't have um, Mr. Crook. He's away doing whatever he's doing. Yes. But we've brought you in because you're just as good as anyone we have here at TalkSport to tell us more about this great news that Kieran McKenna has signed a new deal at Ipswich. Tell me more. Yeah, it's a new four-year contract with the club. I mean... I feel like this has been coming over the last few days. There was speculation that he might go to Chelsea, he might go to Manchester United and Brighton were very interested as well. But he's ended that speculation and signed a new deal uh, with the club. They've more than trebled his wages as well, oh. Ipswich, to make sure that he stayed Do at the club Do you know what that is? Well. I mean, it sounds huge, but if he was on 100 grand a year, that's not a lot, right? It, well, that's the thing. So not quite sure at the moment we don't what know. he was okay. on before, uh, but to have trebled what he was already on. I mean, the thing is, for Ipswich, Darren, you know, he had they had to keep him, didn't they? <laughs> to give them a, a real chance of staying up, because he actually, he's the star quality, isn't he? he he's the star of that team. Um, as you said, double promotions, which is fantastic. No one gave him a chance when they got into league, uh, out of league one into the championship. But yeah, what he's done and, and, and trebling his wages is fantastic. I'd be interested to find out, and I must ask the question, I'll send a little message in a minute, if his whole backroom staff signed new deals because they're equally as important as he is. I mean, the, the group of players he's got there, people like Lee Grant, who's his number two, one of his coaches, they're almost a team. They're almost mm. together. They've all been fantastic. So I wonder what happens to them. Do they sign new contracts? It's, I imagine so. You think so, wouldn't you? Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah. I'll find out in a minute. Okay, you can do that. Anything else we need to know about it? All um, the clubs you mentioned came in from Chelsea, Man United. Yeah, Chelsea and Manchester United. But I think it was Brighton actually earlier in the week that, that were actually quite confident of getting him. Mm. Uh, and then in the same day, it, it, it was revealed that actually it looked more likely that he was going to be signing this contract with Ipswich. I don't know what you think about this, Benty. I know obviously you've got the Ipswich uh, angle as well. But do you think that maybe he... He's missed out on an opportunity there, especially with Brighton, because that felt like quite a nice stepping stone to then eventually go on to a bigger club as well. Do you know what? I don't think it matters now. And I say that because Vincent Company just got relegated with Burnley and has ended up at Bayern Munich. So I think if you play the, a certain brand of football, which top teams like to watch, regardless of the results, Richard, and I hope you stay up, but it's going to be difficult. I'm under no illusions that it won't be. But I think if you play a particular brand of football, which is exciting, it's, it's pleasing on the eye, I think top clubs will look at that and go, irrespective of results, with the players that we've got at our club, if you play that same way, it will work for us. So you're almost like, almost into a win-win, really, mm -hmm. with Ipswich. Regardless, I mean, I hope he stays for the next five to ten years, but will that happen? Probably not. Mm -hmm. uh, Ollie, thank you for coming in. I'm led to believe you're the interim chief football correspondent. I am, yeah. So uh, title, it's right? nice. It's, it's a great title. Does it mean you get three times your pay or not? Absolutely not. No, fine. Okay. <laughs> three times less, I reckon. Ollie, <laughs> that's, that means you owe TalkSport money. <laughs> Ollie, thank you. Are you on later as well? I am, yeah. Okay, from 7 o'clock. Wonderful. Yeah. I heard the show last night. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, listen, we'll take calls on that, shall we? Ben T, 03717223344. Um, firstly, one, one of the questions I'd like to ask you, do you think, I have to ask this question, do you think it's shows a lack of ambition from a manager that has been with his club or he's done with his club just incredible things taking from the championships to the Premier League and League One to the championship which is I think un almost unheard of to do that back to back so I, I could understand why he wants to stay and I love that because loyalty doesn't really exist in football anymore no. it always seems to be about the money but as you said if a big club and we're led to believe Man United and Chelsea came in for him are you stunned if that is the case are you stunned that he's staying at Ipswich I'm not stunned no because Sometimes it's about timing, and I've, I've said it before. You, opportunities like that may never come again. Like, it, it, it may not. But the way clubs talk about him, um, if he continues on the, the way that he is, these opportunities will come again at, at some point. So, and everything's about timing as well. Sometimes, yeah, if the opportunity's there, you take it. But also, you've got to look long term. What you don't want to do is jump at the chance, have an opportunity, it don't go well, and people go, right, that's him done. Do you know what I mean? So, mm. he's, he's at a great club where everything's suited to the way he wants to do things. If it's just a big club, yes, it's going to be a challenge to stay in the Premier League, but I believe he's certainly the right man to make that happen. A few more uh, recruitments in the in the January, in the January, in the summer window. Yeah. I think they've got a great chance, but no, I think he will 
I think the opportunities will be there for him long term, regardless whether he was to go now or he was to go in five years. Uh, talking of opportunities, Ipswich fan, uh, uh, excuse me, Ipswich fans. I can't talk today. Uh, a great opportunity to you for you to pick up the phone and have your sound national radio oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. I don't know. Why I can't talk today, <laughs> but um, I think this is massive news for your club. I'm sure lots of you. Listen, our producer is not in today. Producer Joe is a big Ipswich Town fan. He's got a season ticket there. He will be over the moon with this. Would you have been happy if he'd walked into United? Um, I wouldn't have been unhappy put it like that there's other managers that I'd rather have him than Enzo Maresca would you rather have him than Ten Hag or not uh, no I still think Ten Hag's got a job to do there okay. I do let me read out the quote this is from Kieran McKenna he says I'm extremely proud to have signed a new contract with the club we have enjoyed incredible success together over the last two seasons I'm excited to have the opportunity and responsibility of leading this fantastic club into its first season in the Premier League in 22 years 22 oh, years but how old am I it's a long time <clears throat> you played in the last season bit, yeah which, right yeah. That does show your age. <laughs> uh, 03717222344. Listen, not just Ipswich fans, but I want to hear from football fans as well. I can ask Man United, I can ask Chelsea, but also football fans, whether or not they would they would like to see McKenna at their club, or they think McKenna is good enough, or this new young breed of fo- football manager coming through. Because f- football, I said, listen, I'll tell you what was great this morning. I listened to Jim White and Simon Jordan. They had um, Mike Phelan on. Mm-hmm. And even he was saying that the way in which management is run at football clubs is changing now. Mm. You don't get the Fergie, you don't get the Arsene Wenger, mm. a manager that doesn't just run the club from top to bottom, but it, you get longevity as well. Yeah. That He says that those days are done. Do you know what I will and, say? Go on. Because you said there about Maresca. Uh, what Kieran McKenna did last season was more impressive than what Maresca done. And the reason why yes, I say, I agree with and you. the reason why I say no, that, you, uh, yeah, is you look at what Leicester, Leicester came down from the Premier League, parachute payments, they also had the, they had the squad. The squad. If you just came out of League One, didn't even win League One, second, and to get be up there all season to get automatically promoted. Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not poo pooing what Mariska done. That's still incredible. But I think what Kieran McKenna done at Ipswich is more impressive. Do you think Chelsea have got the wrong man? I thought they had the right man with Poch. So no, I, I know that. So I, I don't think it was the right. So who's any, the better manager? Poch, I think. No, 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 Mariska or K- McKenna. I think McKenna. Yeah. Yeah. And also, as well, he spent at least. With, I know Mariska's obviously Pep, and people get carried away with the whole Pep kind of yeah. links. But I just think McKenna has just got something a little bit different. I know. The fact that he wants to stay at the club. I love that. I love that as well. Mm. We just don't get loyalty no. at all in football. But there will be questions. Football fans, you can have your say on it. There will be questions regarding his supposed lack of ambition. I, no, there's no may, lack of ambition may, there. Well, if you've got a big club knocking on, on the door, maybe there is lack of ambition. No. But you could argue it shows the opposite. Huge ambition mm. with this club. Yeah. But Obviously, how far can he take this club? Well, who knows? We finished fifth the last time I was in the Premier League, got promoted. I know, but come on, that's 22 years ago. Doesn't matter. How far can he take Ipswich? Fifth. No, come on. <laughs> uh, you, you don't know. Like, I'm hoping, we've said it before, on this very first season they've got, right, it's all about survival. I don't want to hear any talk about, well, oh, we could finish in the top 10 or we're better than this team, we're better than that team. No, this is your first time back, as you said, in 22 years. Your first objective is to get safe. That that mm. and the next season you could start thinking maybe a little bit further maybe like a top twelve finish something like that. Yeah. But this very first season you need to get your first win under your under your belt and try and stay up. Let, let me ask you this question from a player's perspective. I've asked you this before. Mm. The difference between you playing your football in the championship Premier League is massive, huge. The game's quicker. The the mm. from your perspective as a striker, the defenders are better. Mm. Everyone's probably in the international. But right? funny enough, you get more time in the Premier League than you do in the championship. Oh, do you? Yeah, that's why I used to find. Okay, it. but the game's harder. Yeah. Right. How different do you think he's from manager? Oh, I think it's the same. I think it's still going to be difficult. Do you? But I think if you've got a way of, of playing, then it, it, then it comes down to because I think a manager is only as good as the players he's got. Now you can you can get the max out of the players, yeah. but that will only take you so far. You need good players, don't you? Like yeah. you, you can. He might get absolutely everything he can, and I'm sure he will do out of this Ipswich Town squad. But that might still only be good enough for fourth from bottom, which is for me an unbelievable season, right? But to go to the next level, is you, it, you need good players. Is it? For a newly promoted side, we've just seen the three go down that came up. Yeah, that is true. Burnley won five that games. Is true, yeah. yeah okay. Five games over 38. You're right. Ipswich fans, uh, you can answer that question um, honestly with hand on heart. What do you hope to happen? What do you expect to happen next season? You must be over the moon, Kieran McKenna staying. And also from football fans, I don't and Betty doesn't, but do you think it shows a lack of ambition if a big club, two big clubs come in for you and you decide to stay with what you've got? What do you make of that? We both think it's great. We commend him for that. Yeah. But what do you think the football fan, 03717, Matt has dialed? Hello, Matt. 
Hello. Hello, Matt. Hello, Jen. How are we? I'm great. How you must be over the moon with that news. Yeah, I thought he was gone. To be fair, I can't lie. I thought he was gone, but um, yeah, fair play to Mark Ashton and everyone in Street Town for keeping him on. Mm. Fair play. What what message do you think that sends out, not just to the players but the fans as well? Um, I think the fans knew that the club was sort of being run by the right people, so I think the fans kind of mostly trusted Mark Ashton and the board to do the right thing. Uh, but yeah, I think I don't know. Really, my, my biggest point was that you mentioned it might be a lack of ambition from McKenna if he left, um, if he stayed, sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with that, really. I think, if anything, for me, I think it shows a massive sign of ambition that he's willing to take on this challenge and finish off the job of keeping us in the prem. If if he'd have gone to Chelsea or Brighton, that, for me, is a bit of a cop-out and saying, oh, I don't really fancy myself keeping town up. It's too big of a challenge. I'll take the easier route of the Chelsea Brighton job and I'll crack on from there so I don't really agree with that at all mate to be fair Matt let me ask you a question what do you think the expectation should be now for next season uh, a little while ago Ben you said about we need to be focusing on basically getting 17 I, I don't disagree with it but equally we've, we've shown that we can pretty much compete against anyone I think last season the League Cup Matt we, Norwich we up Oh, do you know Andy. what? Honestly, Matt, Andy, trust mate. me. <laughs> right. Honestly. Honestly, Andy, yeah, you, you give it absolute facts to Ipswich all the time, yeah. Until you, until you interviewed McKenna, and it was all, oh, love you, Kieran. You're such a great manager. Yeah. Right. Honestly, yeah, of mate, that's, how, that's how it works, right? Come on, Matt, you know that. The worst, the worst for it, mate. Man, you know I had a guff. Now you just jump on. Guff, guff. I love world. that. Guff. See, go on, the boys. Hold go on, on, Matt. Just, Matt, let, Matt, keep going, Matt. Matt keep let going. Me, let me just get this cough out. Hold on, <laughs> nine nil. Go on, carry on down now. Oh wow, wow, Andy. 7-0 against Liverpool two years ago, oh, whatever yeah. it was. Oh, you're a Liverpool fan here. Yeah. Sorry, it says Ipswich here, Matt. My mistake. Look at him over there, Matt. You rattled him. <laughs> Matt, you rattled him. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, let me ask you this question. I'm enjoying talking to you. Let me ask you this. If Go Ipswich on. wouldn't have gone up, do you think he still would have stayed? Oh, um, honest answer, probably not, mate. No, he's yeah, he's good enough to manage in the Prem. I think this season's going to prove that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even have blamed him if he'd have left now. I'd have been obviously gutted, but if he'd have gone to Chelsea or Brighton or Man U, whatever, what what can you say? Brighton are like, I don't think Brighton are a bigger club than us, but oh, they're equally, not. They're, they're not, but they're basically they're basically in its switch town, but five years ahead. Yeah, they're, they're, they're established now, aren't they, in the Premier League? Yeah, and that's kind of what I guess we want to be. We want to be that Brighton sort of Brentford kind of model of recruiting well and staying in the Prem. So I, don't, I wouldn't have blamed him, but yeah, honestly, fair play to him, man. He's smashed okay. it. He's stayed, probably got a massive pay rise as well. Fair play to him, so... Yeah, three million a year. Thanks for your call, Matt. Thanks for that. You're going to sound bonkers, right? But yeah. I, I always think it's important for newly promoted clubs, the fixture list. You, you, what you want an early start and you want a, you, you want a home yeah because I know people go yeah but it doesn't really matter yeah, you but don't, you don't you, you don't want City Liverpool Arsenal Chelsea or United in your first five do you no you don't you want to start <laughs> do I, you I, mean? I wonder I mean it's probably impossible to know I wonder how much that can change a season because I as a player used to as we look at the fixture list where the goal's coming up you, you want do to, you really yeah of course you do I You're didn't want so selfish. Sure, I didn't want to. Where see... are my goals? Not yeah. how will the club get on? Yeah. Where are my goals? Yeah, where Where's goal... my goal bonus coming from? Not, not a bonus. Yeah, it's it's... A goals win games, right? Yeah, goal bonuses <laughs> by cars and trainers. Uh, Trevor's up next. Hi, Trevor. Hello, boys. How you doing? I'm great. How are you today? Uh, very excited. Over the moon. Yeah. Go on. Tell us more. Uh, um, basically, uh, my point is, I think Ipswich are a big club. Um, look at. In previous years, you know, um, we were in the original leagues, always up there. That's because there's a big family spirit at the club. Uh, We had like 55,000 people turn out to see um, the trophy, us getting promoted. Um, I think that my own personal view is that I think we will finish more than mid-table. People are going to think I'm crazy saying that. but Hold on, more than um, mid-table, like where? Like what? Tenth? Uh, well, well I, I was, I've been a season ticket at Benji since 2002, and I watched the party that we had when we were finished in Europe, you know, yeah. with Alan Armstrong yeah. and all the rest of it, and we finished seven, seven. I went on the European tour to Milan. It was, oh, you know, what a day that was. Yeah, it's which have got fantastic fan base, and McKenna has come in, and he has rekindled the love for Suffolk and Ipswich. It will bring so much um, revenue to Suffolk, you know, for home and away fans. And um, it's just going to be one great big party. And I think that, you know, we're going to have players like, you know, Schmodich, um, you know, the couple of players for Leeds who want to 
they'll be looking at our team, you know, and think, well, you know, I want a piece of that. I want a piece of the Premiership. Mm, like, and I just and I just so want a Murray Hutchinson to come back. Me too. Um, I know there's some good clubs after him, but you know, um, I might be talking totally out of my hat, you know, but i have just. You know, I'm based in Cambridge, you know, and there's, a, there's oh, such a massive fan beautiful, base. Beautiful part of the world, that. Do you go punting? Yeah. Sorry? Do you go punting? <laughs> I do. Yeah, I, I go punting in Mitz with shirt in Cambridge, and uh, the Cambridge fans just love it, don't they? Yeah, they do. Let me ask we, you this. When, we, you, we, when you said, Trevor, that, you know, we're part of the original Premier League, so we're a big club, does that mean Norwich are? Uh, do you know what? Um, I hate to say this, but my brother... He's a massive Norwich fan, and we do not speak on match day because because we grew we grew up on the border of Suffolk and Norfolk. Yeah. I moved away to Ipswich. He's in Nor he's uh, in Suffolk in Norfolk still. And um, but you know, um, I personally would have liked Norwich to see see them get them promoted because yeah, okay. I think that I think that the East Anglian rivalry, the you know the thunder and the guts that goes into that is great for sport and great mm. for East Anglia at the end of the day. I agree, day. I agree. You've been great as well, you know, Trevor. Just, Thank you. He talks about that, that Milan away days. Oh, he talked about we got beat 4 1. We beat Inter Milan at home, arms from header, lost 4 1 away. Christian Vieri, oh my goodness, what a hat trick. That's amazing. And the return. That's amazing. And the return of R9. That's amazing. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.